So let's have a look at the week ahead in tarot. What are our messages that we need from our guides? Our angels, guides and the God Force. What do we need to know for the week ahead? So the first message is for the week ahead. So we do have the two of stones. So some of us at the week ahead might be working tirelessly to get a job done. A lot of the times we need to reveal to ourselves what it is that we're trying to achieve. We do know our goals. We do know our ambitions. But when we don't make time for them, it's eluding us. It's not achievable because it's always in the future. So sometimes we have to prioritise and see the balance of where we are going with our goals. We also need to have a look here at what it is that we're trying to achieve on an intuitive level as well. So I've no idea what this person's doing with the mallet. <laughs> um, maybe getting no idea. It looks bad though, doesn't it? But we need to reveal to ourselves what it is that we are achieving. And we can't do it by force like this person. We have to do it intuitively. There is a sense of sadness that if we can't achieve our dreams, if we can't achieve our goals. So we may need to look at other ways of doing it, other ways of thinking, other way of feeling. So use your intuition at all possible. We also have the four of cauldrons here. So this is a very um, interesting time where sometimes things are given to us or presented to us and we're just not paying attention. Maybe because we're focusing on the forceful way of how to get things done. So using that intuition and really seeing that if we feel like um, we're not achieving and it seems so far away, then we have to reevaluate. This is why your intuition comes to play. If it is a different route that we are supposed to be taking, then really tap into that. But don't get despondent or fed up about that kind of feeling. So moving into next week also, we do have this great card to really look at the logical aspect of what we are starting. So we have this person playing the harp. So sometimes we need to listen to our inner voice. And are we telling ourselves we can achieve those goals? Because the emperor here always knows what to do. So we have to have a firm hand in decision about our future. So really evaluate what it is that you're trying to achieve and then make a stance, maybe put some notes down, but definitely realise that time is of an essence at times and we don't need that time to be running out. Enjoy the week.